Mark and um, Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Eric Charles Hawkinson. Just call me Eric. Eric Kudesu. <laughs> um, I'd like to tell you about a new team, a small team that we just started last year, but we're doing some very interesting, in my opinion, some very important things. This is called the interactive team. Uh, we work within the operations team, but like you've heard, a couple of times already today, a lot of the teams are in and out. We work with each other, so it's kind of vague as into uh, what part is in whose who's team. So we work a lot with the uh, operations team and with the partner team and also um, with the communications team as well. So interactive is a little vague, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about what we do. So I love TEDx, TEDx Kyoto. We all love TED. So we want to be able to share our love of TED, share it together to have this communal experience. And to do that, we need to interact with each other. And that's one of the reasons that we today had, a, had you build a marshmallow challenge together, because now we feel a little bit closer together and uh, we can help share our ideas. And that's what really TED is all about. And it's not just about our great speakers telling their great ideas to you. It's about you taking those ideas, maybe having your own ideas on top of them, sharing them with each other, sharing your love of TED. And the interactive team is all about facilitating us being able to share our love of TED, share our ideas, not only with each other, but with our partners, with our speakers, with you, uh, the volunteers, and with our part, uh, participants that come to see the event. We want to get everybody uh, synergizing their ideas, working together, creating a community, and to do that, we need to interact with each other. So to do that, what we do mainly is create some things, some activities to do when you are not watching the speakers. So for example, there's breaks in between the sessions, and we create uh, things to do, activities, booths, for you to interact with each other, for you to see something about the past speakers, for the participants to get to know a little bit about our partners and what they do and the projects they're doing, for them to share their ideas with you, and then and uh, back forth with each other, and maybe even take some of your ideas from the speakers and maybe give you a voice to give your ideas back to them. So that's a little bit vague, so I just prepared three activities that we did last year to give you an example of some of the things that we created to help us interact with each other. And one of our theme last year, this year it's courage and creativity, but last year it was Onko Chishin, so we create, one of our things that we created last year, we had a bamboo installation where people can come, simply come up and write themselves messages to the future or reflect on something they did in the past. And anyone could come up and write something on this note and tie it to this bamboo installation. It's very simple, very low tech, but it allows you to give your voice and you can share your ideas about yourself and reflect upon what you're seeing over the day, some of the great ideas that you saw maybe as speakers, and kind of reflect that and add it into your own life. But we took all those and made a video of it to help us keep the conversation going after the event finished. Did anyone here write a message to the future last year? There's one, two, three, a couple of people. Another thing we did last year is we created something called Augmented Reality Booths. Um, uh, this is where you can go up to a video screen and show us your program guide and some interesting things would pop up. Last year we had the, that sign we showed you earlier, I love TEDx Kyoto. That would pop up and then uh, we could play around with it and uh, we would take screenshots of everyone's smiling faces and then we would put those on a live Twitter feed so then everyone could see how much fun we were having 
and sharing our ideas on Twitter, on, so, on other social media outlet. And uh, people would saw, see that and share it with each other and then hopefully we can get people not only sharing ideas at the venue, but people can get to know each other through social media after the event. And this is one other thing we did last year, and uh, we're thinking about doing this again next year. We had this booth where you can just simply go up and interact with this uh, mind-body experience. You put your body into it, and you're listening to music, and you created a video on, on this big screen. And we did this with partnership with our SEMA, our pr production company here, to kind of show off some of the things that they can do and some of the things that our, our participants can do as well. So to do that, the interactive team in a nutshell is for us to facilitate interaction with each other, to facilitate the sharing of ideas, and to do that we need to come up with new ideas to share ideas. So if you have any ideas for us to interact with each other, if you have a passion to, you want to make people have fun or enjoy the event, not just watching the uh, speakers, our wonderful speakers, uh, please have uh, uh, contact us or contact me, Eric, Eric Udesu, about uh, maybe working with us on the interactive team. All right, thanks very much.